Today we're checking out our 7x16 pop-out sleeper trailer shown here in Harley orange and black. When it comes to our pop-out sleeper, by far and away the most popular size is the 16 foot. Now how that's measured is 16 foot up to this point here and then a 28 inch V-nose in the front of that. You can see here we've got a nice two-tone color and we decided to go with an orange on the top and a black trim down below. Not only does the trailer look nice, but it's also got a sturdy frame structure behind it that you don't see. You've got 16 on center cross members, floor, roof, and walls. Some of the competition out there will skimp to try to get their cost down by going 24 on center in the floor, 24 on center in the roof. Not here. 16 on center all around. A couple other items to point out on the exterior. You've got nice polished corners, front and nose piece there, screwless exterior, which gives the trailer a nice clean look. You've got a uh, flush mount RV side door here with an RV door latch. You can open the door and, of course, close the door from the inside since you're going to be camping on the inside of the trailer. Nice aluminum wheels and LED lights that run the perimeter of the trailer. On this model here, we went with an optional manual rollout awning here, and I'll just illustrate how this operates. So there you have it. Total setup time, less than two minutes. We went with a checkerboard race flag style awning color. There are different choices available to you and it provides nice shade when you're set up in camping. Now, it's important to note that if it's a windy day, we just roll up the awning. Don't even bother with it. You don't want to damage the awning, of course. Uh, you could also take these posts out, bring them out here and tent stake them right into the ground. A couple things to point out here. Underneath the awning, you can see we've got a 30 inch by 15 inch slider window. You open that up, gives you some nice ventilation on the inside of the trailer, and it is screened to keep the bugs out. You have a flow through vent down here, and another look at the LED light uh, clearance light here. There are stabilizer jacks that flip down underneath the corner of the trailer so you can load and unload even if you're not hooked up to your vehicle. Very typical ramp door here, standard bar locks. I'm just going to open this guy up here. Pop this one open and drop our ramp door down. It is dual spring assisted, which makes the door nice and light. Got a aluminum flap, coin rubber flooring on the ramp and into the trailer we'll take a look at, as well as a transition flap that's built in aluminum. Transition is going from the ramp into the trailer. Here's a better look at that coin floor and aluminum transition flap. Now there is a texture to this, so it provides some grip even under wet conditions. One of the key features to the tent pop-out trailer is that it's built into the wall. So the cavity of the wall, which is about an inch and a half thick, actually houses part of the mattress that you'll see here in a few moments. But you can have this nice and zipped up like you see here. It does protrude from the wall just a bit, but you can still load and unload your full-dressed Harleys without having to deal with this. Now on the bed side of the trailer, we've also got another side flow-through vent. When you're driving down the road, it forces air through this one out the one in the rear and flushes out gasoline fumes you might have inside the trailer. Another slider window here, the reason we put that on this side, it's going to provide nice cross ventilation uh, when you're camping, you've got those opened up. To open these up, these are a keyed lock, it's called a vice lock, and to operate the mechanism you just open these up and drop down your tent bed. Now what I like to do is set it up this way from the exterior and then move on the inside. Fast forward and I cheated just a little bit. I rolled up this covering and just simply snapped it into place. Inside of the covering, you're going to see the mattress that's included with this kit. So I'm just going to slide that up to the side for a second. And we're going to take a tool that's given to you with uh, the tent side kit. Clip it on to this metal bar. And push it up like so. So the setup time doesn't take long at all. And we are set and ready to camp. A couple of notes on the sleeper. It's rated at 1,100 pounds and it's between a twin and a full-size mattress. So that's important to note. One popular upgrade is to simply add another pop-out sleeper to the other side of the trailer. So you can have dual or twin uh, beds that fold out and plenty of room. You've got the coin rubber flooring that's on the floor, vinyl walls, vinyl ceiling, you'll notice eight D-rings and two wheel chocks. Now this comes in different configurations. This is stock here, set up for two full dressed motorcycles. The wheel chocks are staggered just slightly so you don't run into your handlebars. What we could do though is if you're a four wheeler uh, person, for example, or a UTV person, we could take these D-rings, run them along the wall, and ship the wheel chocks loose. This particular trailer comes with a standard height of six foot on the inside. The important critical dimension there is that the rear door 
If it's six foot on the inside, it's five and a half foot at the rear door opening. We can add additional height to the trailer if you need it. We can always order a trailer to do that. So let your sales rep know. The front of the trailer, we're gonna show a nice aluminum countertop with nice cabinets underneath. These are available in different colors. Uh, got overhead cabinets here as well. And if you open up this compartment, you've got storage here and of course here. Now there is a breaker box. We tucked it away underneath here and it's a 30M panel. What that runs is you've got two fluorescent lights, two receptacles on the inside. Now we can add insulation, we can add air conditioning, but the way that you power this particular setup is with 110 volt power. So that's either generator or power source. We give you a cord, you take the cord, plug it into the outside of the trailer on the exterior and run it to your power source. It will not run 12 volt off a battery or off your vehicle. 